Hey guys, Alan from Hat Gadgets here. Today we're going to be lighting up a Halloween pumpkin with one of these 5mm LEDs. We might have to overdrive it a little bit, but uh, let's head over to the workbench to see the circuit we're going to be using. Okay, so what we have here is positive and negative coming out of a uh, variable power supply. Um, this negative lead goes over to here, and this connection basically goes to an ammeter. It returns from, from an ammeter here and gets connected to the negative of the LED. The positive of the LED gets connected directly to positive of the power supply. So all we're doing is we're just uh, interrupting the, uh, the circuit here just to monitor current. And then we just have another meter, and that's just connected right here, and that's just right across positive and negative, and this cable is just going up to another meter, so we can uh, see exactly what's going on. So let's uh, take a look at the meters and see what we get. Okay, things are repositioned slightly. Uh, we just have the LED taped over here. Uh, this is the meter here that's reading voltage. Uh, this is the meter here that's reading current. And I'm just going to turn the power supply on. Uh, voltage is right down. Okay, so we got uh, 0 0.02 volts here. And we got zero on the current. I'm just going to start dialing up the voltage here. Okay, so here we have 0.5 volts, zero current. And nothing on the LED yet. Here, I'll tip the LED towards the camera for now. I might have to tip it back up later. Okay, so let's see when we get some current here. Okay, so right now we're at around 2 volts, still no current. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit. And we do have it turning on. Let's just see when that actually turns on to anything visible here. Okay, so... Amazingly low, actually. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but this is uh, point. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00005 amps and that's at 2.517 volts and I can just barely see the phosphorus gl glowing on the inside okay so let's uh, so this is rated for 30 milliamps max so let's crank it right up to 30 milliamps and let's see what sort of voltage we get here there we go so there's 30 milliamps, a little over 30 milliamps, there's 30 milliamps, and we got uh, 3.461 volts here. So there we go, that's our voltage for proper operation for this particular LED. Now each LED in the batch will be slightly different, but uh, uh, for what we're going to be doing, we don't care about longevity, we just care about uh, 10 minutes of nice light. Okay, so everything is just calculatable with uh, electronics. We know the LED life is about 100,000 hours, and we know the voltage now is 3.4 volts DC. Uh, we're going to hook this thing up to a Variac. The Variac has an output of about 150 volts AC, and when rectified, uh, we're just going to call that, oops, about 200 volts DC when rectified. So that's about 60 times more than this LED is rated for. Uh, no big deal. So 100,000 hours divided by 60, that'll uh, last us uh, 1,666 hours. Ooh, didn't notice that number of the beast in there. So that's fine. We just need this for a Halloween pumpkin for a few hours. And, you know, so what is that really? That's, uh, if you take those hours divided by 24, that's over two months. Perfect. That's all we need. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to hook it up to... The Variac right here that goes up to 150. We have a plug output. We're going to plug in the other end of our plug here. This is going to be 150 volts AC coming out of here. That's really dangerous for the, uh, the LED like this. So we're going to rectify it with a diode. This is a, let me see here, a 1N4007. I believe this is rated for 500 volts perfectly safe and once rectified we're gonna have pulses of DC and LEDs like DC right so this should be fine we're just increasing the voltage so we're just decreasing the life 
so I think that's okay. Let's uh, go outside and give this a try. Okay, so it's a little dark out, but uh, you get the gist of it. That's one LED lighting up the candle, and uh, down here, I'll just put a little light on. There's a variac on the ground, it's putting out about uh, four and a half or so volts. And you can see there's a cable snaking over all the way there to the back of the pumpkin, which is giving it some light. So let's crank this thing up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod for this. Just going to crank up the voltage here and we'll just turn it up a bit slowly and uh, let's see what happens. For more information, go to hackedgadgets.com.